Can we just have one chappy to hide the book of spells? Oh, you don't want. The real Charlie said was the key to rescuing her from the block of ice cake trap drink. They said it too. Jimmy doesn't want to disappoint Charlie's dead mother. What does it take to get through to you? Didn't I tell you that if you use the Book of Spells to do away with the zombie, the real charity will die as well? Yes, but... There has to be a way to save the real charity. And it's in the Book of Spells. Sorry, Princess. Hey, what are you doing with that? Come back here, you little... And there's this little cove at the southern tip of the island. It's, it's like a picture postcard. I mean, this pink powdery sand and pale blue water lapping at it. It's amazing. Bermuda. Yeah, and we can rent mopeds and we can go from one end of the island to the other. Thanks. Well, I want to go where there are a lot of people. Okay, fine. You can go shopping. There's a lot of fancy shops there. It's almost like a mini Fifth Avenue. Well, I'm going to go into all the stores. I mean, the more people I come into contact with, the better my chances are of being recognized. Diana. Look, I, I know. I know it's a long shot. But I mean, this could be just one of those times. I just have the strangest feeling that this trip was fated, that I am meant to go to Bermuda. There might be someone there who could tell me who I am. It seems to be down to you two gentlemen. Now, which one of you will win our all-expense paid trip to Bermuda? You remember our pack tank. You win, and I get to go with you to Bermuda. I've got witnesses, okay? <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Oh, well. We have a winner. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well, no standing ovations yet. I still have to decide. Do I switch the plates with Luis and make him face those demons in Bermuda? Or do I keep the trip and take Maddie? You did the right thing, Hank. For those of you who haven't visited Bermuda, it's a magical place filled with romance. We have enough time all day. We have the rest of our lives. So now, let's find out who our lucky winner is. You think lying to Teresa was a smart move? You know, telling her that I was the one that threw her out of the Crane Mansion? Well, I don't see how we messed things up. Listen, if you both want to get Teresa to back off her claim as Mrs. Julian Crane, you're going to have to stop being confrontational. Start working on a solution. How can we not be confrontational? Yeah, when she's trying to weasel her way into the crane fortune. And power. She loves the power. Oh, and she deserves none of it. And she's not going to have it. I'll see to that, Ethan. That little tramp will not have anything. Not one damn thing. You know, you being like this isn't going to help anything. Calm down, all right? I certainly won't calm down, Whitney. Okay, that's the last thing that I'm gonna do right now, after what I just saw. Ethan will be mine again, Whitney, all mine. And I don't care that my plan came from Julian in hell, as long as it works, and it will. Because I'm going to do whatever it takes to get Ethan the crane money and power. And damn the consequences. I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places. And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet. And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew. I'd take me.
here thinks for a second that Teresa is just going to give up her claim to be Mrs. Julian Crane. The little gutter snipe needs to be taught a lesson. One she will never forget. Mother... I didn't want to say this in front of Rebecca, but I've made some progress. With what? But Julian's Island divorce. Look, I'm not going to bore you with all the legal details, but I've had several conversations with the divorce court down there. And they agreed? Not yet, but it's in the works. I'll still legally be Mrs. Julian Crane. You will have sole claim as Julian's widow and everything that comes with it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. I know you think that Teresa was manipulating everything to her advantage. <laughs> think, Ethan, I know. But you're wrong, all right? I just talked with her, and she was very reasonable. <laughs> what? She was what? Ethan, you're out of your mind. Mother, I'm telling you, there's a solution. But that means you have to give me time to work on it. Oh, Ethan. You're so naive. Letting Teresa play you again like this. After everything she's done to you, I, I'm amazed that you cannot see that she's such a conniving bitch. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner she will be out of both of our lives forever. <sighs> Julian took advantage of me. Okay, he married me when I was drunk. He got me pregnant. And now I'm his widow. And I deserve to have the crane money and power. And I deserve to have Ethan. Okay, you need to really chill out. I mean, you got yourself all hyped up, okay? I can hear your heart beating from over here. All right, Whitney. Don't worry about me, okay? I've got everything under control. See... That's the secret to this whole thing, control. And I've got it. You know, I don't even think that your little plan from hell is going to stop Ivy and Rebecca. When it comes to defending their money and social standing, those two women are going to stop at nothing. Oh, they'll stop, all right. My plan is going to work to perfection. What are you using the phone book for? I'm going to put into effect the next phase of Julian's plan. I'm going to get a lawyer. Boy, give me that book. She needs it. You need this book like a hole in the head. If you have it, it's a very dangerous thing, Timmy. Because I know that you want to rescue Charity, but I can't let you do it. Please, Princess. Oh, you'll get us both killed, lad. Now, just run along while I try and find a place to hide the bloody thing. But if Timmy doesn't have the book... Listen, Zombie told me I had to hide the book from you and Kay. So that's it. End of story. such a good heart the bane of my existence <sighs> now where to hide it must be countless places up here but I have to find the perfect place <clears throat> oh no magic scroll that can only mean one thing Bad news for somebody. Behold your Timmy's future! Oh, no. Oh, Timmy. Excited, Diana, but I can't help it, Brian. Just the idea that there might be a possibility. Yeah, but there have been no more missing persons report come through the police department since the and hurricane. And I, I understand that, and I know that the chances are next to nil. But I am so sick and tired of this, of not remembering anything, not knowing who I am. Okay, okay, maybe you're right. 
Maybe somebody there will remember you. I don't know. Just have my life back again. I just wish that I... What? No, nothing. It's not fair of me to say anyway. What do you wish for? I just wish that you could live the life that you're living now to the fullest and quit, wor you know, quit worrying about the life that you left behind you. See, I, I told you it wasn't fair of me to say. I, you know. No, no, it's just... Look, there's stuff that we need from the supply shed, so why don't we head over to the supply shed and we'll get everything ready to go. It's a short trip, but there are things we need. Let's go. We are going to Bermuda. Yes, we are. I can't wait. Oh, man. No. <laughs> we have a winner, folks. Harmony's own Officer Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. The trip for two to beautiful Bermuda is yours, my friend. I don't want it. I don't want the trip. I don't want to go to Bermuda, all right? Tabby makes Timmy so mad. Timmy needs that book. You're probably wondering how you can help me. The only way is with the book of spells. The book of spells? But that's what Kay used to trap Cherry in the block of ice in the first place. That's how I got trapped here in the first place. The Book of Spells. Please come rescue me if you can hear me before it's too late. <sighs> Timmy knows what he can do. Timmy can go back to the cave. <laughs> Is he dead? Is my Timmy... No, no, it can't be. But it is, or will be, if he tries to use the Book of Spells again. You mean he'll die? A miserable death, as you can see. Oh, no, no, I've got to hide this book. I've got to put it in a place where Timmy will never find it. I can't lose him. I can't lose my Timmy. place isn't secure enough. But that's a secret compartment. Find a better place. Uh. There. Oh, please. You've got to do better than that. Think about it. Louise. I don't have to. I'm not going. Well, of course, Luis doesn't have to take the trip. Uh, someone in his family could take his place. But I think it's terrific that one of Harmony's finest is our winner. Look, I, I'm sorry. I, you know, it's a great prize, and I really I do appreciate it. Thank you. Let's hear it for Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. about this, buddy? I'm Hank. I'm 
Bermuda is where he lost the love of his life. Why revisit that? No, I sure wouldn't want to. But if you want, Luis, I think I could take the trip. Uh, ease off, Maddy. He won the trip fair and square. And we're not even his family. I know. Besides, I was... he might change his mind and want to take the trip. No, I'm not going to change my mind. Look, Maddie's right. I I've just got a lot of bad memories in Bermuda, right? I don't want the trip, and I'm not going. I'll get the check. Hank, you shouldn't have switched the plate. I mean, I told you he wouldn't go even if he did win. Wait, wait a minute. Am I hearing this right? You won, but you let Luis think he did? Hey, keep your voice down. <sighs> you blew it, man. No, we would have had a fabulous time in Bermuda. She sure showed her true colors. You, you did the wrong thing, Hank. Just because it didn't work doesn't mean that it wasn't right. No. Not only did you lose out on a chance with Maddie, but you managed to totally upset Luis. I still think going back to Bermuda to face his memories will... It'll help him move on with his life. How's he gonna face his memories if, if he won't even go? Hey. Hey. You ready? Yeah. See you later, buddy. All right. Go to Bermuda, Luis. Do your world of good. is a scheming, backstabbing liar, Ethan. And it's time you realize that past time. She just wants what's fair. That's all. Oh, please. Mother, she just wants to make sure the baby's taken care of. If that's not fair, I don't know what is. You know, and Gwen agrees with me. <laughs> well, you're both deluded. If you just calm down, right? Give me time to work on this, and I will make sure that you retain your claim as Mrs. Julian Crane, and Teresa will never be a problem for you again. That's right, Mrs. Julian Crane. Uh, why am I calling? Because I need a lawyer. Why else? Yes, I will hold. The Crane name is already opening doors for me, Whitney. And after I get a lawyer, Ivy and Rebecca will just be ugly memories. And everything Crane will be mine. The true legal Mrs. Julian Crane. Well. What? Did you throw him? My son always listens to me, if you say so. What about Gwen? Did she know anything? She thinks that whatever Ethan is doing is the right thing. Oh. Oh, babes in the woods, both of them. Well, they're going to have to learn, as we did, the hard way. Strike first and take no prisoners. Words to live by. Or survive by. I did learn one thing from Gwen, though. That she and Ethan are getting along much better. They even kiss. Well, that is good news. I'll be very glad when they're back together officially. I want my son to be with a woman who will love him and make him happy. Oh, well, they're both going to need instruction in the way the real world works. Look, I want them together just as much as you do. But our priority now has to be Teresa. We have got to get rid of her. Well, I've already cut off one avenue of escape. Oh, yes. I made certain that every attorney in town knows that if they take Teresa on as a client, the Greens will destroy their practice. Oh, good move, partner. Yes, well, with no legal resource, Teresa will have no choice but to give up trying to be Mrs. Julian Crane. Let's hope that's the way it plays out. Well, it's a certainty no lawyer in this town is going to help her. So Teresa might as well raise the white flag right now. 
Take no prisoners. Remember. Yes, hello. I am Mrs. Julian Crane, and I would like to retain your services as my counsel. I beg your pardon? Yes, I am the former Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, but I don't see... Oh, what? Why not? Hello? Hello? He hung up on me. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I what? Think, I think I know what's happening. The same exact thing that happened with Ethan when he learned that he wasn't a crane. What are you talking about? Okay, remember when he was trying to find a job at a law firm in Harmony? The cranes shut him out. Exactly. They were afraid that he was going to reveal Crane's secrets or whatever, and they threatened every law firm in town. And no one would hire him. Right. So, honey, you're not going to be able to do anything without a lawyer. So just give it up. You're not going to be able to win. Oh? You watch me, Whitney, because there are other attorneys out there. All right, people who aren't afraid of the Cranes who would be happy to take them on. There. Now the whole world will know about our love. From now until the end of time. Or at least until the termites get it. <laughs> <laughs> Go into our special place. Sheridan's mine. Say goodnight. And the scuba diving is amazing there. I mean, in some places, you can see straight down almost 20 feet. And the fish are incredible. I mean, they come in almost every color you can imagine. Sounds like heaven. It's a little piece of it, I'll tell you that. Oh. You know, I, I know I sound like a broken record about this, but if there's just a chance, no matter how slim it might be, that I could learn something about my past... I'm sorry, I, I know how tiresome it must be for you to listen to me just go on and on and on. Hey, Diana, nothing you say is tiresome. It's just that I see you building your hopes up, and I just don't want to see you get disappointed, that's all. My hopes are all I have. I can't let them go. No. No, I, I guess not. You don't know how disconcerting it is, not knowing anything about yourself. And I know that you're estranged from your family, but... At least you know who you are, where you come from. I don't have a clue. And whenever I think that there's a chance that I might just find one, clue that is, I just I get excited. I, I don't know why. Another hang-up, I'm guessing? The last one. There's no one left for me to call. I have been through every firm listed in this book, and as soon as they hear my name, they slam down the phone. You know, it figures. All right? You have to accept that the cranes are closing ranks. <laughs> Pretty soon you're not going to be able to do anything without the cranes giving the okay. No. Whitney, there has to be a way. I mean, a solution. There have to be other attorneys. Wait a minute. Where is that paper? Paper? What are you The Harmony Herald. Here. I saw this this morning. It's a new law firm that just opened in town. We're hanging out our shingle, so give us a jingle. <laughs> Maybe the cranes haven't scared them away yet. This is Julian Crane, and I need a lawyer. Really? Uh, when can you see me? I'll be right over. Wait! I've got to change! Come on, I've got a lawyer.
Hey, what's going on here? I'm out on the wharf. Uh, the whole uh, beautification and harmony campaign. <clears throat> well, where are the old rails? Rip them out. <laughs> what are you doing with them? See that fire barrel over there? Yeah. Good no. I gotta get to that rail. You know, sometimes the clues to your past will just come back to you when you least expect it. You mean if I don't find out anything in Bermuda? Right. You know, I'm not counting on anything happening. Just take whatever comes. Well, I was doing some research on the internet, and it said that sometimes people with amnesia, you know, they'll uh, just absentmindedly do things that are clues to their past. I'm not sure I follow. Well, it's like if you had a habit or something. Or you doodle something on a piece of paper, and then all of a sudden it just comes back like a flood. All the memories come back and you realize who you are. I sure hope you're right. Because there are just times that I don't feel like I'll ever find out who I am. What is that there? What? It looks like you drew something in the sand on a stick. not so sure about this. About what? That this is the kind of lawyer who's going to stand up to the cranes. Wit, we haven't even met him yet. Well, I wonder where this guy got his law degree. Who cares? I mean, if he's smart enough to take my case, and he is smart enough to win it. My, my, my. That's just what this office needs a little female poker to. Welcome, ladies, to my place of business. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like Woody Stumper's office for the best legal advice and harmony to state the country, heck, the entire planet. That's Woody for Woodrow. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You are, you are Mrs. Julian Crane. I'd have known you anyway. And who are you? Um, Whitney Russell, my best friend. Oh, it is so good to have friends. I myself have too many to enumerate, but I do digress, and after all, time is money. Well, I've got plenty of both, or soon will. Yes, indeed, eh? Teresa, I want to make sure of that. And who can blame you? Not I. You know, I have... Please. I have been researching your, uh, uh, shall we call it, predicament, and I have come to the conclusion that you are not only being treated unfairly, but abominably, and we must put a stop to it. You have ceased being Mrs. Teresa Lopez hyphen Fitzgerald. You are the once and future Mrs. Julian Crane and all that assume otherwise. They are sadly, sadly mistaken. We must right this wrong, and with your approval. We'll make that first step tonight. Yeah. <laughs> We just have to get through these rocks, and then he can spend some quality time with a sweet charity. Even though she's probably locked in block of ice still, and you won't even know Timmy's there. Still, just to be with her. book. I can't 
let anything happen to my Timmy. I just can't. shared and carved your initials, but then I, I saw the fire and found the railing, but it was already burning. That's why I, I reached into the fire. No. But what if this was a clue to my past? Hey, you know, it was, it was probably nothing. We gotta get the boat loaded. Come on. Let's get the show on the road. Can you take this box for me? Sure. We are going to Bermuda. <laughs> Will I ever find out who I am? I'm just gotta start looking on the right side of things. Ryan's right. Getting a trip to Bermuda, and I've just got to start learning to enjoy the life I have now. Mother, we are making real headway with the island divorce. At this rate, it should be dismissed very soon. Well, that is good news. Mm -hmm. We still have to do something about Teresa, though. Well, it's, Teresa just wants the baby taken care of. I'll be able to make a deal with her that she'll be more than happy with. Look, Mother... She never really wanted the crane power and money. She just thought that to get anything from the crane, she had to play hardball. Ethan, you are so wrong. She's not playing a game. She has a plan. She wants this. Ethan, she wants all of this. Look. I don't get it. So, what are you doing here? Who's this? My attorney. Your what? You have something that belongs to my client, and we would like it back right now. Jimmy's here, Charity. Whatever Jimmy has to do, Jimmy swears he'll find a way in to rescue you. And save you from that block of ice. Ah, that should do it. Then you should be safe now. Without the book of spells, he won't be able to rescue his sweet charity. It'll hurt him emotionally, I know, but he'll be alive. That's the point. I don't know what I'd do without that little imp. Initials meant so much to you. You burned your hand trying to get a piece of wood from me? I'd do anything for you, Louise. You know that.
Maybe this is a sign. Maybe those initials burning is a sign that... I gotta get on with my life, that living in the present is... more important than hanging on to some old memories. What are you, what are you saying? Well, uh, I guess I'm asking... if you'll go to Bermuda with me. Enjoying the life that I'm living right now, just like you said I should. But I'm still hoping that somebody there will recognize me. Tell me who I am. <sighs> well, what is this? An, an attorney? I thought you said no lawyer would take her case. This one's new to me. I have no idea where it came from. As you can see, I am Mrs. Julian Crane's attorney, and as such, I am compelled, feel compelled, and so compelled to hereby present you with these papers, informing you of our intent to sue your sorry but and even sorry butts of the other two alleged Mrs. Cranes for the truthful and rightful Mrs. Julian Crane's proper recognition. Wait, what did you just say? He said I'm suing Ivy and Rebecca for what's rightfully mine. The Crane name, this house, everything that is due Julian Crane's widow. And I won't settle for anything less. 